couple of weeks ago, my family and I started taking part in our city's extension of the Kindness Rock project. And uh, when we started that, we looked for what people were using to seal their rocks. And the most common thing that we had saw was this Mod Podge spray. Uh, about a week ago, we went to uh, Cedar Point and brought a couple rocks with us to hide while we were there. And uh, I ended up keeping my rock until after I went on a water ride there and I got completely sopping wet with water. The rock got sopping wet as well. Um, when I uh, got off the ride, I thought, you know, maybe I should go ahead and hide this rock and get this thing out of my pants now. <laughs> and uh, so when I pulled it out of my pocket, I noticed that the paint on the front side of the rock had been uh, worn some. And uh, I thought, well, maybe that's just due to the, uh, you know, wearing around in my pocket. Maybe this stuff isn't as durable as I thought it was. But when I got to the back of the rock, I, I, I also kind of noticed that the rock was tacky sort of feeling. Um, when I got to the back of the rock, it looked like the paint on the back that I had was kind of smudging and like smearing off to the side. Um, it was then that I figured that this Mod Podge might not be the best thing for sealing these rocks. Um, so today, I, uh, I've set up a little experiment. I'm going to go ahead and take this rock over here and just leave it just painted. Uh, this rock here is going to get coated in three coats of Mod Podge. This rock here is going to have one coat of Mod Podge and three coats of this spar urethane sealer uh, which is what I've been using recently and it seems to work decent I think I haven't really given it a good test yet that's kinda what this is all about though um, and uh, the last thing I'm wanting to try is uh, this glass like coating <laughs> uh, that I found at the store um, not sure what exactly this is supposed to be, but it's another thing that cleans up with uh, mineral spirits. So not a water, water soluble. Um, so basically, uh, back to this rock again. This one's going to get uh, one coat of the Mod Podge and three coats of the Spar Urethane Sealer. This one's going to get just the Spar Urethane Sealer. And this one is going to get just the triple thick glaze glass-like coating stuff. Um, on these rocks, we've painted them with acrylic paints. Um, I've also put on each of these rocks, I've written on the paint themselves uh, with Sharpie, because I noticed some people complaining about what they were using to coat their rocks, uh, running or smearing with uh, Sharpie. So I wrote, Sharpie, uh, wrote with Sharpie on them, uh, both on the painted surface and uh, the uh, area on the back where we call out the Facebook page uh, is written directly on the rock itself just in case there's a difference between those two. Um, so this is kind of an experiment for two things. Uh, first we're going to see which sealer is best um, for trying to keep these rocks uh, protected against water and the second is going to be seeing what these various different sealers do to the uh, to the both the acrylic and the Sharpie that's on there. Um, after I get done coating these rocks and let them dry the prescribed amount of time based on these products, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them all in water and soak them for a while, uh, kind of simulating getting rained on, uh, you know, a decent rainfall. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and see uh, the integrity of, of the rock at that point, whether uh, whether the paint just rubs right off with your finger or whether you can take like a paper towel and kind of wipe it on there or maybe a, maybe a towel uh, kind of simulating somebody putting it in their pocket or something like that. Uh, so uh, just go ahead and uh, hold on here and uh, once I get done with all the uh, upfront work of coating these I will go ahead and uh, do another segment of this uh, showing what they look like after they've been coated and then follow on with the uh, last part where 
we're going to actually do the testing with water. Okay, all the coats of sealant have been applied. Uh, just to review, this rock here is just the acrylic paint. There's no sealant on it. This rock here is simply Mod Podge. Three coats applied to it. Don't know if you can make out. Uh, all of the Sharpie seems to have stayed intact well which is what I've been experiencing. This has got one layer of Mod Podge and three layers of the spar urethane. And again, all of the Sharpie is completely intact. This rock has simply had the spar urethane applied to it, no, no coats of Mod Podge. Um, and again, the Sharpie has completely stayed intact. Uh, this last rock is the first time I've used the triple thick glaze uh, type of sealant. This one, uh, you can see on the front side here, this is actually the second side that I coated with it. Uh, this side uh, is, is pretty good. Um, they, I don't see any bleeding of the uh, Sharpie on it. Uh, this is the shiniest of all of the various coats, the most gloss finish. Um, however, when I first started doing it, I wasn't used to using this particular sealant, and it is extremely thick when it comes out. So I applied it a little bit too thick on the back here. I think if I had applied a lighter first coat, that it wouldn't have made the Sharpie bleed like you see in this. Um, hopefully you can pick this up in the camera. Uh, the sh it's still semi-legible, but it's bled pretty decent. Uh, like I said, I, I believe it's just due to... Uh, applying the first coat too thick. Um, but uh, the next step now will be to let these sit for the uh, 24 hours that are prescribed on the cans. Um, and then after that we'll go ahead and set them down in some water, let them soak for a while, and uh, then I'll uh, go ahead and see how the various uh, sealants do. Like I said, I expect this one to completely just wash off. Uh, this one, I expect the Mod Podge, just due to my experience with it, um, is going to rehydrate and that one's going to wash off as well. Uh, the rest of these I expect to hold up, but we'll see. Well, it's been 24 hours now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place the rocks in the uh, in the water there. Just trying to bring up a timer app here. Uh, let's do stopwatch. Um, you'll go ahead and put the, wa the rocks in there, in the water, let them sit for a while. There we go. Alright, we start the timer here and I'll uh, I'll come back after a while here and we'll uh, see what the various different rocks are like. Figure that I'll probably give it as long as it takes for the one that uh, has nothing but just the paint on it uh, to start giving the problem in the water and then uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so it's been an hour and six minutes. Um, kind of played around with the rocks some a little bit uh, as I went went through the uh, the time there. Um, I uh, I don't know the rock that doesn't even have any type of protection on it is holding up way better than I expected it would. Um, half hour in it wasn't really showing any signs of having any kind of problems um, let's get this rag a little wet here um, let's grab the rock this is the rock that has no uh, no protection on it at all you can kind of see where I've rubbed away at it some I guess it's kind of falling apart a little bit more now that 
I really look at it. Um, it's still, I mean, like, the white paint is holding up a lot better. It seems like just where the paint's a little thicker on it, it's kind of deteriorating. Um, let's see what we can do with the Sharpie here. Eh, I guess it kind of wipes off. Let's see about the area just on the, the Sharpie just directly to the rock. That seems to hold up pretty decent. But uh, on the paint, it's not doing so well, but I think it's mostly the paint rubbing off. Um, so, I mean, it's not falling apart as soon as I thought it would, um, but it is falling apart. Um, I'm beginning to wonder also if the problems that I had with the uh, rock before was uh, we had these rocks from uh, Michael's that they almost seemed like they had a waxy type substance on it that we tried to like buff off of it but it just kind of I don't know if it just smoothed out or what and then when we painted them I think maybe we were painting over the top of a wax maybe maybe that's what made it more of a problem this is the rock that's got the uh, Mod Podge on it for protection I mean rubbing it with my hand here it's pretty decent I mean it's starting to flake off a little bit there I guess uh, a little bit there too as well See if we can agitate that a little bit more with the, yeah. So, I mean, it's not as bad as the rock that doesn't have any protection on it, but it's holding up halfway decent. Um, a lot better than I expected it to. And again, uh, the rock that I had a problem with before, it, it had Mod Podge coating it. Um, the other thing I'm wondering is, uh, it was a pretty hot day when we were at Cedar Point, so it could have been the combination of the rock being a little bit waxy when we painted it, and uh, maybe the heat. The heat might contribute to the paint becoming more pliable and breaking down. I don't know. Uh, this is the rock that's got one layer of Mod Podge, um, and then it's got uh, three layers of the... Uh, Spar urethane. I'm gonna see if I can be a little more rough on this one. Maybe use my fingernail, what little I have here. <laughs> fingernail through the uh, through the rag. That one seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah. I'd say, uh, look, I just got some paint on my hand from the other rock still. I'd say that, uh, that the spar urethane stuff seems to be a halfway decent sealer. Yeah, that was really trying to scratch at it kind of hard there. Oh. Can I can get it to break up some with my thumbnail there. Uh, a little bit there too. I mean it's it's a lot more tough than the other stuff. But uh, I mean maybe this might be a little bit more prone to chipping. If a bunch of rocks are tossed in a bag potentially. This rock here is the one that's got the triple thick glaze on it. This one really seems to, its it feels very tough still. I think, uh, I think this stuff might be the winner. This stuff, uh, the other thing that's pretty nice about this particular stuff, uh, once again, that's this, uh, it's so this triple thick glaze clear glass like coating 
think we got this stuff from Home Depot. Um, ideal for crafts, art, and decorative projects. High gloss finish, non-yellowing. That's another thing that's kind of interesting. If you look at these other two here, um, let's grab one of the rocks that, this is the control rock here. I don't know if you can tell here, but this one is pretty white and this other, uh, this one right here is, is slightly yellowed. It's not too bad, but it is slightly yellowed. Um, and this one, this one shows the same thing. That's the one that's just got the spar urethane. This, however, this uh, triple thick glaze stuff, it's it's pretty white still. It doesn't, it didn't really seem to yellow it at all. Um, the thing that I really like about it, I was a little bit nervous about using it at first because, like I said, on the back of that rock, it uh, it did have this problem with trying to bleed the sharpie. Um, I think it's just I, I didn't it didn't happen on the front uh, and it was my first time using it and I think I just applied it too thick on the back because it came out a lot thicker than I thought it would um, knowing that I tried to back off a little bit further away from the rock and I think uh, the front did pretty well um, so that one you really got to pay attention to the instructions of uh, actually I don't even think Looking at the instructions on here, it doesn't even tell you how far away from the product to be, or away from your uh, project to be. The other ones tell you to be 12 inches away, um, and maybe I got a little closer on this one. Um, but I tried to back off a little bit further, and for the, at least the first coat. Um, but the thing I really like about it is it says here that uh, it dries to the touch in 5 minutes, to handle in 20 minutes, and fully dry in 24 hours apply uh, clear in two to three light coats a few minutes apart. Um, that's the thing I really like about this one. Uh, the other ones actually took quite a while to, to coat them. The Mod Podge, Mod Podge is, uh, that one's like 15 minutes dry time, unless you apply it a little bit thicker or maybe it's cooler out. So if you do it at nighttime, it might, you know, might not uh, do as well. Um, but the Mod Podge takes like a good 15 minutes in between coats to dry and the uh, spar urethane uh, it wants you to completely do all your coats um, no longer than an hour and a half in between coats is what I was reading it as uh, so I was kind of waiting a half hour between coats and it would still be just slightly tacky at that point um, so I'd get all three coats done in an hour and a half time um, but uh, but that one, uh, that one, you know, it's, that's, that's quite a bit of time. You're constantly going out there every half hour, putting another coat on the rock, and then that's the one side. Then you're flipping it over and you're coating the other side. This stuff, it, like every three minutes, I was putting a new coat on it. I did three coats on the one side, and then I let it sit for about 20 minutes. Uh, then I flipped it over to the other side, set it back down, and then uh, coated the other side three minutes apart from each other. And honestly, in a half hour, that one was uh, pretty durable. Uh, 24 hours, it's practically like armor on the rock. Um, and it seems to be very water durable. Uh, I was thinking about trying to add some warmth to the water because the water is kind of cold right now. Uh, maybe warmer water might, uh, might uh, cause this stuff to degrade a little bit quicker. Uh, but uh, I don't know, I, I think I'm getting pretty decent results here. I mean, the rock with no coating on it, uh, that one is pretty easy to flake stuff off. The rock with just the Mod Podge is only slightly more protected um, than the spar urethane ones. They're fairly protected. Uh, it looks like maybe it could be potentially prone to chipping or it could just be that particular rock. Um, but uh, again, this triple thick glaze stuff, that seems to be, uh, seems to be the real winner. Uh, but uh, yeah, kind of interesting results. Not exactly what I was expecting, but it still kind of shows that Mod Podge is, I mean, maybe due overnight. I did see somebody make a comment before that uh, that water rehydrates Mod Podge. And <laughs> as soon as I saw that, you know, I'm like, well, no wonder it was falling apart. I mean, if it, it does feel kind of, when you pull it out of the water here, even if you dry off the rock here, um, this rock does feel kind of tacky 
and it is this is pretty cool right now honestly um, like you know room temperature cool water uh, if this was warmer water I suspect that this would be even more tacky um, so yeah I, I think the Mod Podge is you know it's fine to spray on in between different mediums that you're uh, you're painting uh, but uh, as a final protectant coat for something that's going to be sitting outside in the rain or rubbing away in somebody's pocket I, I don't think it's the best idea spar the, that spar urethane stuff it seems to be pretty good uh, but like I said it takes a while for it to dry uh, it, it is kind of a uh, the Mod Podge I would say is more of a matte finish uh, like it like it states on the can um, I make the uh, I'd say the spar urethane is more of a it's like halfway between matte and a, and a semi-gloss and I'd put this triple thick glaze stuff it completely a gloss so I mean I guess it kind of depends on how you want your uh, rock to turn out if you want it to be more glossy looking this stuff is I think this is pretty fantastic uh, but if you want it to be more of a matte type finish uh, maybe the spar urethane is a little bit better idea but uh, anyway that's uh, that's just my findings on it and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching by the way if you're like me and you have more hobbies than you have time to actually spend doing them you might have a sandblaster sitting around your house and uh, I found it's pretty much the uh, best thing that you can use to get rid of mistakes on rocks kind of blast that paint right off.